Hello again and welcome uh, to another talk uh, today and of course today is a special day in the year of the church but one which often passes by without much notice being taken of it. Today of course is Ascension Day. Now apparently it used to be different. I'm told that back in the 1950s in the UK, or at least in England, it was a holiday from school. I'm not quite sure whether it was a holiday from work as well, but it certainly has never been my experience in England to have a holiday on Ascension Day. In addition, it's also my understanding that along with Christmas and Easter, Ascension Day is one of the days when a bishop is expected to worship in the cathedral. What then is so special about this day? Well, for one thing, it marks the last of the post-resurrection appearances of Jesus to the original apostles. Luke tells us in Acts 1-3 that Jesus has spent at least part of the previous 40 days teaching the disciples what they needed to know for their work in the future. He then leaves them to wait for the Spirit to come at Pentecost. So one of the things about Ascension is that it is a time of waiting and we symbolically wait as the church in order to receive what Jesus in Acts 1-8 calls the power from on high. And he says to his disciples, this will enable them to be his witnesses to the ends of the earth. It's also the day when Jesus, the Son, returns to his Father's side after his incarnation for ministry on earth. Many people get stuck on the image that Jesus went up. They say, heaven isn't up. And it's led many to question the validity of the Ascension. As I said before, it's better to think of it as returning to his father's side. But perhaps one of the best known exponents of the concern about going up was Bishop John Robinson in his very influential book, Honest to God. He suggests that people should not see God as out there, but that God fills the whole of his creation. For me, the up issue has never been a problem. In Jesus' day, heaven was understood to be above. To enable the disciples to understand what was happening, the return to the Father, up, would make sense to them. So, in that, it's symbolic of the truth of the matter and has no implications about the nature of God. Another thing people have asked me over the years is why Jesus didn't remain in Galilee and let people just come to see him. After all, he'd been raised from the dead and would live forever. We find the answer to that in various parts of John's Gospel and also in the book of Acts. On his return to the Father, the Holy Spirit would be fully released into the church and it's the church working in the power of the spirit which continues the work of jesus as we begin to see more restrictions lifted with the improving covid 19 situation in, in our province one of the issues which arises for us is how are we going to allow the spirit to work more in our individual lives and that of our church communities because of the new things we have learnt during this time. Once again, thank you for being here and listening. Today, Ascension Day, the litany is pushed back for an hour until seven o'clock and actually we'll have a service uh, not from the cathedral as such, but a full evening prayer service to remember 
and to celebrate the ascension of Christ. And so, until then, God bless and stay safe.